Yeah, I know. Making long putts isn't as glamorous as, say, throwing 74 miles an hour for 550 feet standing still. But if you can't putt, you can't win. Spin it. Hey y'all, before we get started, make sure you stay tuned in till the end of the video because I'm going to announce a super awesome giveaway for the D-Clip. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here and today we're going to be talking about putting power behind our putts. Before I get all the hate comments below, I talked to Clint over at It's Blitz. I got his approval to use his video title in my opener, so just relax. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll link his information in the description below. Please go over and check out It's Blitz. The guy's an absolute beast. Doing standstills, 74 miles an hour, 550 feet. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous what the man can do. So I'm sure we can learn a thing or two from him. So go ahead and like and subscribe to him. Go over and, and watch his stuff. On to our video here. And, and I get it. Putting videos don't do well, but... Uh, the more I learn how to putt and how to putt consistently and how to putt well, the more excited I get about it. Because to me, any more draining a 45 or a 50 footer for birdie is better than driving 400, 450 feet. Yeah, let that sink in for just a minute. But really, if I can sink a 45 footer for birdie, that excites me more than throwing a disc 450 feet anymore. Because I know it's throw for show, putt for dough, right? Uh, if you want to win, you got to be a consistent putter. So putting power behind our putts is essential to getting consistent with our putts because as we walk away from the basket, we need more power generated to get to the basket. And the, the, the easier the power comes, the easier it is for us to be consistent with it. And whereas when I first started, or even a year ago, 25 footers seemed like an eternity away, I am now doing standstills from 45 feet and, and can be fairly consistent. Now, I don't make a lot of them, but I'm very consistent from standing still at 45 feet now. And I attribute that to two different things. The two things that we need to put power in our putts. One is our legs and the other is our finger pop. So I'm going to go over both right now and uh, hopefully this is quick. Okay, using our legs to get power in our putting. And, and we've all heard this. You cannot neglect your legs when it comes to putting. I mean, if you've ever played basketball, you know that using your legs is essential for a long range shooter. If you're standing outside the arc, the three point circle, you're not standing still and draining three pointers like this. It just doesn't happen. The good shooters don't even really stand still when they're shooting foul shots. They have a little leg pop to it. Using your legs puts power into every motion that you do. You, you just have to use them. So uh, I've, I've done this in my putting now where I generate a little bit of board momentum in every putt that I do. And I'm a stagger putter, so I'll show you two, the two ways, right? Um, stagger putting is I now start with my weight on my back foot. I used to just stand here like this, all my weight on my front foot, and this, this foot just down for distance. Uh, for balance you can't do that so now i put all my weight on my back foot and get set up and as i'm putting it's just a little pot and it, it i know the farther you get away the stronger the stronger the push has to be right if you want to get power the problem with that is this is extra movement into your putt and it has to be consistent right i've always preached before that having a quiet, compact movement is the best because it's the easiest to replicate, right? So if you're going to do this, you need to be able to replicate it every single time consistently. The least amount of movement that you have with your pop in your back leg, the better, but you can't neglect it. So I now start with my weight on my back foot and get set up into my putting form. And as I putt, I transfer my weight from the back to the front and give a little push to give a little more pop to my putt. And I'm standing at about 27 feet right now, and that felt like a 15-foot putt. 
So legs just are very important to make sure you have momentum for putting at longer distances. So start learning to incorporate your legs into your putt. Now on to finger What? Oh, the second style of putting. You guys gotta keep on me about this stuff. And for you aspiring YouTubers, this is a lesson to write things down. I'll forget them if I don't. So straddle putting. We talked about stagger putting. Putting your legs in straddle putting. I think is more consistent and easier to do. And actually, Kristen Tatar was on Latitude 64's channel with Jonathan, and she was giving five uh, tips for putting. And she stated that this was the reason that she switched from stagger to straddle, was because she couldn't get the timing right with the weight shift in her legs. And she was struggling with it really hard, so she went to straddle putting. And she's kind of right, right? Because with stagger putting, we just said, you have to rock, push forward. Right, with straddle putting, it's, it really is just like a foul shot, right? It's just a little, just a little knee pop, right? Just a little leg pop to get you up and get, get some momentum in your putt, right? And, and the farther away you move, the more, the more of a bend in, in the knee you want, right? So again, I'm about 27, 28 feet here, right? A little, a, a, a little leg pop should do me, right? So. Uh, again, that's, that's your straddle putting. Using your legs is, is fairly simple. It's just incorporating the little knee bounce to give you a little extra oomph in your putting. Now on to finger pop. The second thing that infuses power into our putts is finger pop, right? Calvin Heimberg has a video on this where he talks about the drill he does. I did an Instagram post on a variant that I do from that drill with finger pop. Uh, but we need to gain strength in our finger pop, in our forearm, in order to generate power with our putter. And I now do that with my D-clip. I don't come out to practice anymore at all, either doing this or throwing forehands or throwing backhands without my D-clip. Uh, it's just the most versatile tool I have now for my, for my training and my practice. Um, I have a, a stack of seven putters. I will put my D-clip on my putter and I'll warm up a couple times and then take the D-clip off and putt. And then I'll do it again. Put the D-clip on, do a couple warm-ups, take the D-clip off, and putt. Missed that one, but it was close. Uh, I'm standing at 28 feet right now. I'll go through my whole stack twice doing that, every putt, putting the D-clip on, doing a warm-up, and then putting, and then moving on to the next disc for two stacks. And then I'll do another two stacks of just regular putting, where I stand here, and I putt toward the basket. Miss that one. Uh, and again, at 28 feet, I mean, I'm hitting these like 20 footers anymore, and I think it has, a, no, no, I know it has a lot to do with the D-clip. And like I said, because I've been doing the finger pop drill, and I've been using it in this manner in my putting routine, I can now do standstills at 45 feet very comfortably distance-wise. Now, my accuracy I'm still working on, but distance-wise, I can hit 45 feet standing still very comfortably, and I'll show that to you right now all right let me show you here real quick where is it you'll see it 45 feet there I am right there and I'll just walk back here set up the camera and just so you have a frame of reference for what fire where my because I'm gonna have to cut it so I can get set up but so you know I haven't moved from that 45 feet get a reference from where my stand is with my putters on it so you know that I haven't moved since I cut the video. All right, here we go. Three putts at 45 feet. And remember, my accuracy isn't the greatest at this distance. What I'm more worried about right now is the power to get it there, to be able to make it if the line is on. So power is the most important right now. So three putts at 45 foot standing still.
That was close. Close again. Made the third one. So there you have it. That's what I'm doing to infuse power into my putting, using my legs, using my finger pop. The D-clip helps that. Uh, I told you in the beginning we're going to do a giveaway for this, so if you go ahead and comment and like this video, and then head over to Instagram. I have a post over there that you have to comment on as well. You'll be entered to give uh, into the giveaway for the D-clip. Um, I'll give you a week from the drop of these two videos to do that, to be entered into the giveaway for your chance to win a D-clip, bamboo mini, and two towels from D-clip. And watch out for my code from D-clip to get you discounts over there as well. Not quite ready yet, but it's coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.